Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. Coming up, there are growing concerns over a rise in illegal fishing activities. The practice of ethical journalism is under threat. A Bulawayo Arts Laboratory opens its doors to artists of all ages. And in sport, a player from Bulawayo wins the wheelchair tennis title. Illegal fishing activities are continuing and concerns are growing about the effect that this is having on fish stocks at a major dam close to Harare. Our reporter Margaret Chirairo has more. Fish poaching is now rampant around Lake Chivero due to lax territorial surveillance by fisheries and wildlife authorities sparking fears that overfishing may threaten fish population at the lake. Illegal fishing has increased over the past decade owing to high unemployment levels in the country as well as the high demand for cheaper meat in Harare. Efforts to curb poaching have not been successful and ATV caught up with some fishermen at the lake bank who say the high cost of license fees was pushing them into poaching. It's not marine guides okay, but two dollars can dollar fifteen do marine no more enough for when the moon we see. Marika end up five dollars three dollars no matter queer. Munagata the qua for the Mario, Achira Ramani, Nicura, Nazi fishing, and Pesar is ordered to poaching. Taxi, I got six certificate, I got two fifty, and then I scuffed two dollars, and that's an assault and got another lady. Both fish that is running as a so fast, I got a scuffed two dollars. Go on. Poverty and high unemployment has also added to the fish poaching problems. Other fishermen think different and said the Parks and Wildlife Authority was not to blame for the fish poaching problem. Kupaksi, ah, kuna juru kuchuru kunya ukagani swa, ah, jo, nudi muno karaga badara tike drag three dollars, agasuta zero e gakusubatiro fishi zake e gusinge zuri kuhari. Lake North Bank Parks and Wildlife officials refused to comment on the matter. And if nothing is done to curb illegal fishing, this may threaten fish populations around the lake. Reporting for ATV, I am Margaret Chirairo, Lake Chivero, Zimbabwe. There are fears that the practice of sound and ethical journalism in Zimbabwe is under threat due to a number of different factors. Jeffrey Boyo reports. Professional journalism survival in Zimbabwe is under threat owing to the difficult political and economic environment prevailing in the country. Media experts said this 83-day workshop on investigative journalism which was held recently outside the capital. Journalists interviewed by ATV said there is a crisis in fact-based journalism with more reports of bribes, biased reporting and coverage of events as well as the influence of the powerful elites on the media. Simply because of the political and the economic environment they are working in. So looking for stories, doing stories at the end of the day, you know, proves difficult because of those conditions they are working uh, in. Because it's been easy to point to the legislation in terms of it being restrictive on journalists and so they've had to find ways to uh, work on their stories and, um, you know, and as a result have compromised sometimes. Uh, what's, what's difficult is that when you start compromising because of the environment, it's very difficult to know when to stop that compromise. To sustain their, their, their families and their extended families is causing them to accept uh, unethical practices in the profession and that is killing the profession at large. And also it is distorting the whole story of Zimbabwe as a whole. Christianaka a journalist with Reuters said fear among media practitioners forced them to compromise their ethics. The fear basically impacts on journalism in uh, two ways, particularly in Zimbabwe. One is uh, it uh, compromises their 
the the quality of stories that they they give and uh, uh, secondly well, short changing uh, the public obviously and uh, secondly it uh, limits the growth of the individual journalists director for the humanitarian information facilitation center said editors who become partisans stray from ethical journalism the moment some decisions are being motivated not by the objectivity of a story or the importance of a story to the country then we know that there is a challenge of actually being ethical poor salaries lack of resources and training have forced many journalists in Zimbabwe to compromise their ethics, leading to a crisis of professional journalism. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo at Lake Chivero, Zimbabwe. A Bulawayo Arts Laboratory is offering exciting opportunities to both young and older artists. The lab will allow people to gain experience and boost their artistic prospects. Selum Shanga has the story. Ezigo Laboratory has created a platform for budding artists to showcase their talent while at the same time assisting established artists to grow. This theme, social relevance, social correctness, because we realize that uh, most of the guys, most of the artists were just doing art for the sake of, or of art. And also the communities took art as a, as a form of entertainment. Yet art itself is more of a, a change agent. I think it's just a, 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 a port whereby all artists come in and cook their activities and people have got the choice and I mean they say to say okay fine this is nice this is not you guys need to improve here you guys need to improve there I think it's a good platform for the artist Artists held the establishment of the Arts Laboratory saying it was important for the development of artistic work. Okay, yes, benefit a cool cause a Gabula, I'll tell us your case, I'm excuse, then about the best teacher in Bono Yabo, here and the social science is perfect. After every performance, the audience get a chance to make comments and evaluate each performance, pointing out the gaps and strengths. This year, Ezigo aims to encourage artists to create art that brings change to communities. Ezigo Theatre Laboratory is a community platform initiated by the community artists. Uh, it is a theatre laboratory where we bring uh, the producers, the choreographers, the writers, uh, the directors and the artists themselves uh, to a platform where they present their work and uh, have it uh, going under a criticism by by the communities. Ezigo also holds an annual modeling contest named Miss Amalungelo, which uplifts the girl, child and women rights. Ezigo Laboratory was founded by the art group Victris Young Nova to assist young artists to build and develop their careers. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. In sport, a Bulawayo-based player clinched the wheelchair tennis title after fending off the challenge of a crowded field of competitors. Melody Muguti was there for ATV News. Samson Muroiwa won the just-ended wheelchair tennis tournament after edging out Brian Mafuise in a thrilling game played at Bulawayo Athletic Club. The tournament with 20 competitors was a huge treat for tennis enthusiasts in Bulawayo. ATV caught up with Samson Muroiwa who was ecstatic about his victory. Oh, I'm happy about winning the tournament, but it's not all about winning, but eh, it was difficult inside there. If you don't practice, eh, no practice. Eh. Because long time in practice, so it was tough for me. I just, I just win the tournament because of an experience, according to these guys. So I'm just happy. But in the semi-finals, Shepard Banda trounced Daniel Leia 6-3. Coach of Southern Region wheelchair tennis Petros Love said the tournament was helped to keep the players in shape ahead of upcoming games. Wheelchair tournament is one of our tournaments to try and uh, develop our juniors and uh, seniors in terms of those who are playing on the wheelchair sport. The chairman of wheelchair tennis, Johan Marufu, said the association is facing several challenges which are hampering its growth. Currently, this tournament is uh, being played with a sponsorship from the British Embassy. And uh, apart from that, we have no other sponsorship that has come our way. And uh, it was supposed to be an ITF futures tournament, but because we couldn't raise enough money to run that tournament, uh, it, it is in excess of uh, about 8,000 to run a fully-fledged ITF tournament as we will have to accommodate the players, feed them 
and uh, give them transport, bring in uh, referee, umpires, and so on. Road chair tennis in Zimbabwe is still growing and needs corporate support to consolidate the games registered so far. Reporting for ATV in Mulawayo, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.